Good afternoon, guys. We are in Varna, Bulgaria. We flew in late last night from Germany, um, and we're grabbing some lunch now. And then we're getting a rental car, and we're heading somewhere else. Where are we heading next? To the suburb. It's like an hour and a half south from here. Unfortunately, Raya lost her bag last night as well, so we will probably have to come back here tomorrow to pick it up. Um, but we are on the coast. Just before we walked in here, I saw the sea, the Black Sea, for the first time. From a distance. From a distance. We're going to walk down there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited to be here, and it's beautiful weather and delicious food. Look at this. Chickpeas, aubergines, everything good and tasty. Oh, this is awesome. This is so beautiful. Oh wow, look at the building. I don't, this is amazing around here. It's cool that we get to explore Bulgaria. Yeah, thanks for bringing me to Bulgaria. Yeah, that's These buildings. We have picked up our rental car. We've now got a bit of a dilemma. Basically, Raya's bag that Turkish Airlines lost or forgot on our last flight is arriving at the airport at 3 a.m. on the same flight that we came in last night. But where we're staying is an hour and 40 minutes away. So if we were to go there now, it'd end up We'd end up having to drive and wasting three and a half hours to come to collect the bag either tonight or tomorrow, which is just a complete waste of time when we want to be doing other stuff. So we're trying to figure out either get Turkish Airlines to deliver it tomorrow or hang around in Varna till this evening and then drive tonight down. So we're just killing some time right now and we're driving to a place called the stone forest which is some kind of ruins or cool stones or something it's number three in TripAdvisor anyway cool things to do with Varna so we're going to go check that out and then we'll find out what the plan is in a bit we've arrived at the stone forest what's the Bulgarian name? Uh, Pobiti Kamani Pobiti Pobiti Kamani I basically can't get any Bulgarian pronunciation correct, but um, this, right, we just researched a little bit about what this place is. So this is like a natural, a natural phenomenon, it's not man-made. It's in one of the only deserts in Europe. So look, there's like sand everywhere. And these stone columns are formed, and there's a few theories about how they formed, but they're hollow and they've got sand inside apparently. What were some of the theories behind how they're formed? Well, there's 15 theories apparently, but the main one is that they formed 50 million years ago, during which time Bulgaria and a lot of the, this region was totally underwater. So this is like they think that this was formed underwater basically. And I think there's, um, there's like, they, they find shells and stuff in some of them, so that's why they think that's proof that this happened underwater. But there's, nothing's really been confirmed and there's like 15 different theories of what really happened. So yeah, I guess no one can really know what happened 50 million years ago. And one of the theories is that, would, is that giants made this place. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I think it's had like quite a lot of historical um, significance for well, like yeah, ages. When it, when it was first found by humans, they were like, whoa, what the heck is this? And they, they kind of used this as, or like they thought this was a super sacred place where supernatural stuff happens. Cause yeah, I mean, if you come across this as like back in the day, first humans, they're like, whoa, crazy. Yeah, I'm like world crazy right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so look, look at these. 
just chilling. I had no idea we had a desert in Bulgaria. That's the most shocking thing to me right now. Kind of jealous right now. I feel like it's so wrong to walk in sand with shoes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but Soft as sand. it's just effort having to take my shoes off. Why are you wearing winter boots? <laughs> I don't know. I just want oh, one pair so of shoes. Soft. Hello? Hello? What? Hey. hey! Wait, I can't see, it's too bright. Too bright? Oh, I can see you now. Oh. Hey. I do not know what is wrong with me today. I think I've tripped over like 20 times. Like when we were walking to the cafe earlier, on the sidewalk, literally tripping over every tiny little crack in the road. Here, I think I've tripped over five times here on the rocks and stuff. Right, what is wrong with me today? Why am I so clumsy? I don't know, I think you're just distracted. But yeah, you've tripped over like 30% of the rocks in here. <laughs> We are stopping in town before we drive down to where we're staying. Um, we are talking to Turkish Airlines about getting Raya's bag delivered first thing tomorrow, so hopefully that happens. But whilst we were driving to park, we spotted Pikachu in Varna town centre. This is not a drill. <laughs> Pikachu is on the radar. I'm very excited. I've only ever seen Pikachu twice. Once at your house, remember? Yeah, one was Did literally... You tell them? Uh, yeah, I did tell him. <laughs> right, let's go and find Pikachu. Oh, wow, I just laid two eggs. Literally two e eggs just laid. What did I get? Oh, <laughs> oh no. <sighs> I got ten though. Yeah. Guys, we had the most incredible falafel, which made up for the fact that we did not find Pikachu. Uh, it was so good. I actually got another falafel wrap to take it away when we start driving. And then we've walked to the place we had lunch this morning. And we're having, we've treated ourselves to some amazing vegan cheesecake. Is this banoffee pie? That one's raw too. Is it? Yeah. It's like, this one's like banoffee pie and this one's like some kind of chocolatey cheesecake thing. So good. Let's go. We just pulled over because we found Pikachu. Oh my gosh, yes Pikachu. Boom. Yes. I earned a medal, I caught three Pikachu. Thank you. Okay. See this this does not feel right. This looks like the road blocked, doesn't it? I think that's the road. Yeah. How do we get there? Guys, I think where we're staying is up here somewhere, but there's just a big pile of gravel in the way. We found it. <laughs> You're on the fifth floor. Thank you. Okay, so. Thank you. Uh, we, uh, we only have two of you. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there's only a two bedroom available, so we just ended up getting it. It's no problem. Yeah. Cool. So, uh, bathroom, bedroom, Second bathroom, second bedroom. Perfect. Cool. Awesome. This is the lagoon. Uh, it's called lagoon because the bottom, it's not uh, tiles like in the pools, it's uh, stone on which uh, there is sand above oh, okay, it. So it's cool. uh, 
almost like the same like in the in the sea. Yeah. Well, we made it to where we're staying for the next few days. This is an amazing apartment, and uh, it's like unbelievably cheap for what we've got. Um, also, good news. We've spoken to the airport. They have raised luggage. They arrived tonight, and um, hopefully we're gonna get it for first thing in the morning tomorrow. Let's hope that it gets here. Um, I think we're going to explore a bit of a local town, like the old town, and hopefully get to enjoy the beach tomorrow. We'll catch you in the morning. Peace out. Enjoy life. Live the adventure. Boom.